Hello everyone, Mike Fantuzzi from Camso again. So we've explained in the other video how to read sizes for cushion rubber press-ons. But for pneumatic shape tires, including bias, radial and resilient, it's a little bit different. There are three main types of size nomenclature due to history. The first example, 500 by eight. In the old days, the technology and the know-how didn't exist yet to make low aspect ratio tires. Therefore, they only use one number in the marking to indicate both section width and section height. In the case of 500 by eight, the section width and section height are five inches. And the last number, the eight, preceded by the dash, is the internal diameter in inches. In the second example, we'll use a tire size 18 by seven dash eight. This marking came alive when manufacturers started producing low aspect ratio tires. These are tires where the section width is larger than the section height. In this case, we need an extra dimension. In the case of 18 7-8, 18 is the overall diameter in inches. Seven is now the width. And eight again is the internal diameter. Now for the third example. And if you've come this far with us, maybe you're willing to go just a little further. The third example is 250 by 10. We share this one with other industries, such as the car industry. It is the ISO standardized marking. It tends to be the most common one used these days and all new tire sizes that are produced will bear this marking. The first number is the section width in millimeters. The second number is the aspect ratio, which is expressed as a percentage. This tells you how the section height is related to the section width. And the last number is again the internal diameter in inches. We hope that this video helped. And if you need more information, please visit our website at camso.co. Thank you for watching and have a great day.